everything weird. Uh, hi again guys, so it's Keith again. This time, i-continue po natin yung topic natin regarding Photoshop. So, actually, this will be a crash course. Therefore, hindi po tayo magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. So, we're just going to create a simple poster. Okay? So, we're going to create a simple poster using Photoshop. So, tuturuan ko po kayo from the very basic on how we're going to import images at the same time to put designs. So, dito po, para mas mapadali po natin yung ginagawa natin, kailangan alam po natin yung mga ilalagay natin. Well, for me, I've already chosen just three images. Tatlong image lang po yung ginagamit ko. So, I have the blue background, I have the picture of a car, then I have my details in here. So, the name of... Um, the company from which I'm going to create a poster is Fixie. Para siyang ano, car detailing. So it's like a car fixing at the same time, detailing, papano ayusin yung sasakyan, lilinisin yung sasakyan, i-maintain yung sasakyan. So this will be a very big help, especially kung gagawa po tayo ng design for NC3. So visual graphic design, test the visual graphic design. Definitely this will help you guys. So simulan na po natin. First, you need to download an image. So, another tip pala guys, if you want to download an image, ganito po yung technique natin. Kasi minsan, pag nagda-download tayo, gusto natin na transparent na agad yung background, di ba? So, first, you're going to open Chrome. So, I'm just going to type in... Simple as that. Pero mapapansin po natin, lahat ng mga images dito is merong uh, background, right? So, we don't want that one kasi... Kukulangin tayo sa oras if we're going to edit. Although, sa ibang tutorial, ituturo ko naman po yun sa inyo kung paano mag-edit. So, click po natin yung tools. Then, click po natin yung color. So, under color, we have transparent. So, click po natin yung transparent. There. So, ito po yung pinili ko si Celerio. So, I'm just going to click on that one. So, mapapansin po natin, meron po siyang um, grayish checkered on the background. Which means this one or this image has a transparent background. So, i right click ko lang po, open image in new tab, then I can just simply save that image wherever I want to save. So, it's right in here. So, I've already also saved a background. So, I got it from here, from images.google.com. Depende po sa inyo kung ano yung gusto ninyo. Depende sa creativity ninyo. Kasi, kasi I'm sure, mas magaling pa kayo siguro in terms of doing the design um, compared to me so I've used blue abstract abstract background for that I love blue so I've chosen this one clean ko lang po yan then right click open image in new tab then save image ganun lang po okay now for the details of my uh, design ito po yung mga nilagay ko it's up to you kung ano po yung gusto nyong ilagay pero I will be giving you the link of this one kung gusto nyong pagpraktisan lang. Okay, so I'll be providing it on the description just underneath this video. Okay, so let's start. So I've already opened my Photoshop. So click ko po yung file. New. So under new, I'm going to use 11 by 8.5 is okay. So kung gusto mo mas malaki, it's up to you. Taasan mo na lang yung width ng uh, inches at saka height in inches. It's up to you. Then you can just convert it to feet. Okay? So, meron naman po tayong feet to inches converter. Pwede nyo pong babaan yung resolution if ever you're going to deal with large format. Kasi hindi naman po siya sa screen for publication naman po siya or for publishing. So, the safest resolution for publishing is 72 pixels per inch po. Okay? So, yun po yun. So, I'll stick with this one na lang muna, ha? Okay, so click create. There you go. So again, this is our canvas. So ang gagawin ko po, paano ko po ilalagay yung mga image. So click ko po yung file. Pupunta po tayo sa open. There. Hahanapin ko po kung saan siya. It's on my quick projects and it's under resources here. So under resources, makikita po natin 
yung mga images. So, I'll just have to highlight both of them. Hindi po kasali si details. It's because itatype po natin yun or ikaka-copy-paste natin later on. So, click on open. Yan. Automatically, nag-create po siya ng panibagong tabs. So, I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to use this tool. Move tool po ang tawag sa tool na to para ma-drag ko po yung image na to papunta dito sa empty image natin. Okay? Or empty project. So, click on this one. Drag papunta dyan. Huwag nyo lang pong bitiwan yung mouse nyo. Drag. There. So, if malaki po siya, meron po tayong makikita dito na mga bounding boxes. You can just drag it inwards. Uh, my tip is to use this area para equally um, what do you call this? Equally resized po yung bawat sides niya. There you go. Yan. Okay. Hit your enter key or you can just click on this icon, the check icon, which means you are going to commit the transform transformation. There. Ngayon, kung ayaw mo nang galawin yan, pwede nyo pong i-click yung lock. Be sure na nakaklik po tayo sa layer 1. So, this is our background. Pwede po natin i-rename yan para hindi tayo mahirapan next time. Background. There. Click po natin. There. So, hindi na po natin magagalaw siya. This time, we can use the Celerio. You can just drag it inwards. Papunta po dito. There. Now, pag medyo nahirapan po tayo, just replay and replay the video para mas madali natin ma- Intindihan. Here. So, it's up to you where you're going to place it. So, for me, I'm just going to place it somewhere in here. Yan. Okay. So, meron na po tayo. Click. Check. Next is, I'm going to place a title for my, uh, what do you call this? It's poster. So, I'm going to use a font. Uh, which font? It's up to you guys, actually, kung anong font yung gusto ninyo. I think I need to use something that is impacting with uh, what they call this heavy uh, what they call this heavy thickness or it's quite thick so I'm going to use this yeah so I'm going to name this one as fixie fixie auto detailing there ganyan lang you can place it in there. Depende sa inyo kung saan nyo po gusto ilagay. Yan. Or I can play services. Large format uh, publication. So, ibig sabihin, not necessarily malalaki na talaga yung text. Kasi kung malaki naman yung pagkakaprint nito, then definitely okay na yun. Ganyan lang. Resize it konti. Yan. So, I think I just have to place one detail para matapos lang natin yung isa. Oh, where was that? Up to here. So I'm just going to use the copy paste technique. What's wrong with me? So kung paragraph naman po siya, click and drag nyo lang po po ganyan. Yan, tapos control V. Control C yung ginawa ko kanina, then control V po ngayon. Uy, may ano, may parang, anong tawag nito? May bullets and we don't want that one. So, kung ayaw mo ng bullets, tanggalin mo na lang yan dito. Yan, tinanggal ko na. I'm just going to change the alignment. Hindi ko naman kailangan yun. Uh, there. So, this is just a sample. So, I don't need to be on detail. Basta meron lang tayo may lagay. Yan. There you go. Yan, okay. So, pag sa tingin ninyo medyo dikit-dikit na siya masyado, what I'm going to do is just to highlight them. Pupunta po ako dito. Ito po yung formatting natin sa paragraph. Click on that one. Meron po tayo ditong vertical alignment or spacing. So, dadrag ko lang po siya to the right. Mapapansin po natin na bumove po siya ng pusa there. I think this is okay already. Yan. So, mapapansin po natin. Meron na po tayong... Details for our uh, service. Now, kung gusto mo na medyo magkaroon po siya ng touch of this one, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina sa Fixie Auto Detailing, pwede naman po i-duplicate duplicate na lang natin to. Right click. Then, meron tayo dito nakalagay na hanapin lang natin yung duplicate layer. So, there. Yan. 
So, automatically, meron na po siyang duplicate. Pero yung duplicate na to, idadrag lang po natin pababa. Dito natin siya ilalagay sa completely fix. Eh. Lilitan lang natin ng konti. Drag inwards. Downwards. There you go. There. So, mas readable na po siya. Pero kung gusto nyo pa po i-adjust, pwede nyo naman i-adjust yung opacity niya. Yan. There you go. If you want this one to be on top, a little bit, drag nyo lang po pataas. Yan. Para magkaroon ng parang effect. Overlapping. Over, overlapping effect. Yan. Okay? So, after that, pag sa tingin ninyo, okay na po yan. You just have to change the size there. Yan. So, after that, pag sa tingin ninyo, okay na po. Oh, what you're going to do next is, of course, to place the contact information. So, you can just place it here. Contact. So, I'm going to place the number 9, XX. Then X, 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 there you go. If you want to place the email information, pwede rin naman po. You can place the email information in there, then... If you want to save this one, so, syempre, let's say for example, uh, wala na kayong babaguhin, wala na kayong edit ang gagawin nyo na lang, click on file, save as po. But be sure that you have the PSD file or the Photoshop file para kung meron kayong gustong baguhin, nandyan pa rin po siya. I'm going to name this one as PS2 or Photoshop 2. Let's say like that. Then save it as JPEG if you want to print it. Save as. Then I'm going to use JPEG, this one. Okay? I'm going to use, let's say, anong tawag dito? Poster. That's it. Then click save. Okay, now let's try to check if it's already in there. Open po natin. There. So, we have already created our very first uh, poster in Photoshop. Okay, so medyo trashy po siya, hindi siya ganun kaganda. But then again, it is just a concept at saka quick tutorial naman po siya. Okay, so that's it for now guys and subscribe for more. Bye. Everything wears.